What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we're going to be talking about Apple secretly endorsing cannabis reform, along with some other companies that you guys all know. Some of the biggest companies in the world now are supporting cannabis legalization, and that is overall beneficial for Sundial. So we're going to start off looking at this story. We're going to talk about how uh, Sundial could be affected by all of this legalization hype and whatnot, because you guys know that Sundial typically does pretty well when legalization is in uh, the headlights, right? When we're looking at legalization as if there's a real chance it's going to happen, that's when cannabis stocks in general, especially Sundial, tend to perform pretty well. So we're going to look at some of these legalization stories today and talk about uh, what's been going on in the world of legalization and when we might expect it. So the headline of this article is Apple, Apple secretly joined Amazon in advancing commercial cannabis reform. So we'll talk a little bit about what Amazon did. You guys have already heard it if you watch the channel for a long time. But what Apple did is, according to this story, this past summer, a little recognized thing occurred. One of the largest and most respected companies in the world quietly changed its policies in favor of cannabis. And how they did that was, in June, the fine print of the Apple's App Store review guidelines said it had changed and released that uh, stated... Uh, it stated that apps handling sales and delivery of medical and recreational cannabis in legal jurisdictions are now allowed on the App Store. So that happened a bit ago, and this is part of Apple changing the overall view that they had on cannabis. Before, they were against it. They weren't going to let any apps that had anything to do with it be posted on the App Store. Now they're actually allowing some of those apps to come into existence. And now we're looking at a situation where it's not just... Apple, it's not just Amazon, it's not just Democrats, it's not just Republicans that want this thing legalized, it's everybody, right? We're looking, and it's pretty much everyone. We're going to run through a lot of the people who do want this thing legalized later, but the one person who doesn't, right? The, the one person who could be a real stopper on this whole thing is, uh, you know who, President Biden, right? He says, after one year as president, Biden's cannabis promises remain unfulfilled. Now, you might be wondering, what are his cannabis promises, right? What has he promised to do in the world of cannabis that he hasn't done already? Well, if you actually go to JoeBiden.com, you can see one of his campaign promises, the reform sentencing promise. He said he will end once and for all the federal crack and powder cocaine disparity. Now, this is the important part. Decriminalize the use of cannabis and automatically expunge all prior cannabis use convictions and end all incarceration for drug use alone and instead divert individuals to drug courts and treatment. So he says it right here on his own website, JoeBiden.com. His campaign promise is to decriminalize the use of cannabis. And, you know, decriminalization is better than it being illegal. It's not as good as it being fully legal, but at the very least, he's promised to do this. And uh, this is a promise that, you know, he's been president for a year now, and it's not been fulfilled. The one thing that he has done on the cannabis front is sign an infrastructure bill last year that contains language meant to help promote cannabis research. We covered that in a video uh, a while ago. But all in all, he hasn't done as much as he said he would, and he could be the one thing uh, basically putting a stopper on this whole thing. If we were to see, you know, a bunch of politicians all of a sudden get on board with it and really start talking about it and voting in the Senate, the one thing that could stop it that we'll have to watch out for is Biden, because so far he has not been very kind to cannabis, despite uh, having the very public front that he is, at least putting it on his website that he would decriminalize its use. And uh, so far not having followed up on that promise. Now we're going to look at what other politicians are saying right after I show you guys the Rob Almeze Locals community. Now this is the top link in the description, the pinned comment. Feel free to check this out. This is basically a new community that we're starting up where people can post if they're a member. If not, there's still free stuff that you guys can look at, right? This, this post is actually, I believe, a supporters only post, but you have the option to join the community whether or not you want to support the channel. You can join this community on Locals. Yeah, it's real easy to make an account. And uh, basically, I'll be posting some of the trades that I'm taking, some more niched down content. If you guys are interested in any of that, feel free to join up the Locals community. And if you don't want to do that, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel, at least. We're on the road to 11,000, so feel free to do either of those things if they interest you. Now, what we've got coming from the Republican side, we've talked about this a lot. Nancy Mace endorses cannabis legalization. She wants it legal. Amazon endorses cannabis legalization. Okay, Amazon endorsed her plan. Chuck Schumer wants cannabis legalization. The Senate Majority Leader for the Democrats, he said comprehensive federal cannabis legalization is a Senate priority. Uh, he said it in um, a longer way, but essentially he said uh, cannabis legalization is a Senate priority. And he says this is long overdue and we will move forward. So we're looking at a situation where a ton of people want to legalize cannabis and where uh, Sundial is 
poised to benefit. We've often seen these cannabis stocks run up quite a bit when there is hype about legalization. It's not just Sundial, it's other stocks like Tilray, MJNA, MedicalMarijuanaInc.com. A lot of these stocks tend to perform very well when cannabis legalization is uh, in the headlights, when people are looking at it like as a real chance of going through. And another thing to mention that a lot of you guys like to talk about in the comments is the short interest on Sundial. Yes, there are a ton of shorts on Sundial stock, 251 million and that could certainly cause some sort of squeeze. If we do start to see very real chances of cannabis being legalized soon, that's probably when people would start buying up these cannabis-related stocks, Sundial included. And it is worth mentioning that Sundial has very many shares short. A lot of those shorts might have to cover, and uh, that could create some additional buying pressure. So we could, yes, be looking at a short squeeze situation with Sundial, but we'll have to wait for the overall catalyst of legalization to really set in and for people to really uh, propose these bills and uh, get them some traction in the Senate and the House. We're really going to be relying on these politicians who are being very vocal so far about cannabis legalization, actually doing something before the midterm elections, before November, which is when we're probably going to want to see a lot of progress being made on the legalization front. Uh, my, my hope is that people will be making a lot of progress with that in anticipation that they can rally some support from voters who obviously want it legalized, right? A lot of voters want cannabis legal, and it would be a wise move most likely for any politician who wants some additional votes to uh, support cannabis legalization. So we'll see what happens with these stocks, with Sundial, with Tilray, with all of these cannabis stocks in the future. But all in all, it's looking like a pretty bullish situation to me. And the only real roadblock that we have to worry about is Biden, right? That's the only real thing that I can see standing in our way. So it's not, uh, it's not a clear cut path to victory, but it's, uh, it's pretty clear. It's as clear as clear can be. So I'm looking forward to the future of cannabis legalization in these stocks, and hopefully you guys are as well. Now, if you guys are interested in getting some more info on any of this, feel free to join us in the locals community. That would be much appreciated. Once again, you can do it for free. You can just join the community and become a part of it. And other than that, guys, keep in mind none of this is financial advice, but have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.